Okay, my background is dry now. I will now start painting the dog. First, just like we did when we were drawing, I want to first block in the different shapes that I see where I see shadow. So I'll start from dark to light. By the way, I'm using acrylic paint, which is a fast drying paint. And um, it's pretty easy to, to work with because it's very versatile. It can get as watery as watercolors or as thick as oils. But over here, we're going to use in a medium just, you know, for acrylics. It's going to have the look of acrylics. Not too thick, not too um, see-through. The first thing I see The nose, dark, I'm going to add all my dark spots first, dark areas. So let's see a little bit of dark here, it's going to look a little bit spotty, but it's all meant to be. See it's got a little bit of a shadow here. And then here. Always keep looking at your reference. All right, so that way you you're not just imagining this. You're really trying to transfer what you see. My eyes are glued on that reference. Let's look back at my canvas. Make sure my brush is doing what I'm seeing. here just kind of following the lines that I drew and trust me this brush is not even the greatest but you'll see it'll come it'll come together you can use I like to use a round brush too like another good you know comfortable option for me would have been something like let me see like this one it's like a, it's a, an old round brush also like that as a, a, a it has a better edge to have a point so that way it can go right where I want it to go see even has like a, a rough touch to it on the canvas it would be another good brush So yeah, I'm just keeping keeping it, just painting into the neck here, not thinking about the body. This process, I call it blocking, because I'm just blocking in the, the shapes and the values, starting from dark. From a dark value, I'm going to go from dark to light. to change the color I added all my black color actually I'm going to add just a little spot here for the eyes as well I'm gonna make that the whole eye black make it all black I'll add the different variations later okay now I'm going to add a little bit of a brown and here on my palette I actually don't have brown I'm making it brown Adding a little bit of in brown, you can just mix all the colors, a little bit of blue, a little bit of red, red, blue, yellow, more red. See, and start making some brown. And it depends on how much of which color you want. The brown will kind of incline to that color. So I see a little bit of brown in his face as well. He's, he's like a little brownish gray dog I will in between those dark areas okay the, the, the black that I painted I'm adding this brown I 
and this is now my final layer it is not the more layers you add actually the richer the dog will look the painting will look when it's just one layer it looks a little bit it looks like you could have done more to add another layer to more depth to it you know I'm seeing that it's actually kind of sticking out here a little more you can always like if you're if you're drawing you think that you needed to add a little something to your drawing maybe you didn't go as as far out as you should have then you can do that with your brush with your painting remember the drawing was just a reference for location and placement no thanks I'm gonna make the, the the neck a little bit thicker as well since that's all I'm showing I'm not gonna show the the body it's kind of like All right, it looks pretty dark, you can't see a lot of detail. And I know, as you can see here, it's white, you see? But I'm not going to paint white on white. It won't look good. So I'm gonna add a little bit of like, it's the watered down brown, whatever I had, just adding a little bit of water. And, and then I'll paint my white over it. That's the trick on painting white. You want to make sure you have a base, you have some color underneath the white before you paint white. Now, usually dogs have a little bit of reddish ears. Inside of the ears are going to be red because you can see the blood vessels. And that's usually how it goes, right? I'm not going to say every dog, but most of them. So I'm going to add a little bit of red to that inside of the ears. And I see that he also has, around the nose is also another good area uh, that you will find red because um, the blood vessel, the, the skin is going to be a little thinner, there's going to be more blood vessels showing. I mean, sometimes it's just really how the, the dog looks. Around the mouth as well, those are the parts that you will see some red. And sometimes even in the neck, you should, sometimes you will find that too. It's got a little bit to it. And it may look a lot right now, but remember, this is not my final layer, I'm adding more layers to it. So, here he is. I don't know if this is a he or a she. Okay, now I'm going to start lighting it up. I'm going to add another value to it. Added all my shadows. Now I'm going to add my mid values. And he is a bit of a grayish dog. A bit of a grayish dog, so I'm going to add a little bit of a gray color. And I'm going to lighten it up that hard. You can test it out sometimes on the palette. You see one color, and then when you actually paste it on the canvas, it's uh, a different color. Um, it's normal. So, change it up a bit. See, I'm pretty much now trying to go, I'm not going to go everywhere because then it defeats the purpose of adding black to it. But, I'm going to go in some places, I'm leaving some of that black showing still. Just so that way it can show like there's an 